Hello everybody, this is Nuzcraft, and welcome back to some Cogmind. I am a little bit PO'd, I just waited like four full minutes, I think, for Steam to update and Cogmind to launch. It's just crazy. Like four minutes of me just sitting there waiting. I was already recording, of course. It's ridiculous. Anyways, we are going to continue weekly seed number 103. We are running a flight build. Um, which is something that we haven't done for a long time. <clears throat> we're on the factory at minus five, and we're just going to see kind of how far we can go. All right? Sound like fun? Good. What's up here? Do we want any of that? Negative. Oh, yeah. No, we're good. Uh, this, did we try fabricating this thing already? I don't know if we did or not. Yeah, we did. Okay, because we were thinking about getting uh, maybe some, like another mini, the mini grenade launcher. Speaking of which, we we'll turn that off. Power mall's off too as well. Okay. It's pushing the Slayer around. Um, does the battery take power. The heat sinks take a little bit of energy. What if we turn off the heat sink? Yeah, then we start getting five energy back while we wait. We'll turn them both off and get them back on if, if we need them. There's a sage down there. Don't want to deal with that. This group of robots just hanging around up north of us seems suspicious as well. Oh shoot. Can we run away? I feel like running away is a fine option. Unknown protection, improved data jack. Advanced terrain scan processor. Do these need a terrain scanner? Requires a terrain scanner. Okay. Because I, I would take one of those. Let's see if we pop in here. Advanced signal interpreter. Maneuvering thrusters and a KE penetrator. Oops. Enables responsive movement to avoid d direct attacks. 3% to dodge while on legs, 6% while flying. Can we fit that? We we'll probably drop one of these advanced heat sinks actually. Not really worried about gaining too much heat. Shoot. Let's go ahead and I 
Actually, we could probably maul him to death. There we go. Light fission core. Sit here and gain some energy. Ooh, anti grav system. Advanced cooling system. Yeah. So sorry. I think I just bumped the mic. Look at that. Power Mall doing some freaking work. We don't even have enough energy to smack them. That's why flight builds are rough sometimes. Guys, this is like embarrassing. So then we lost that. I don't, I just, I'm done with this. This is stupid. Like, seriously. I really just don't know how to play. I don't know how to play this game. Because that was just like... I mean, it was essentially just like I had a chance to pick up a spare engine, and I just didn't. Like, I don't know why I felt the need to hold on to, like, three guns. You don't need that. Like, why would you ever need that? I just don't freaking know. Okay, so how are we going to come back from this? Start by killing these. Mm -hmm. Turn this guy off. 
now. Dispatching reinforcements. Okay, seismic analyzer, mining laser, there's a phase shifter. What's a phase shifter do? Reduces enemy targeting accuracy by 5%. I shall take that. <laughs> Advanced field recycling unit, that's how you get more matter. Neutron cannons, launcher guidance computers. We actually need that. Improved Dutrium engine might be nice though. As opposed to the light ion engine. And the welding torch. What is a recalibrator? non-functioning parts. Okay. Neutron cannons instead. Mm, that's pretty good. Medium storage unit. Taking up all of the energy, probably the phase shifter. And the fact that we're on, yeah, actually, it's, it's more likely the fact that we're on those things. Let's throw this guy back on, turn this guy back on, turn this guy back on, turn this guy off, turn this guy off, no, this guy off. Then the efficient core we don't care about. There we go. Train scan. Processor, I think we're okay. This is a little bit of a comeback. Right? Guns are good. We have some backup stuff. Let's go ahead and switch out this guy with this wheel. There we go. Hard light generator. Reduces damage of incoming kinetic projectiles by three. It's a lot of energy, though. So why... Right now, let's go ahead and throw this off. Okay, that's good. Okay. We're getting our energy back. Phase cannon back on. Throw this guy back on. Throw this guy back on. Ugh, seriously? Of course. 
Uh, turn this guy off. Turn this guy off. Oh, ah. that guy off, turn that guy on, okay, that's good, okay, okay, that's also good, this guy, oops, This guy on. Good. Okay. You need a better. Where we make our stand. Let's throw this guy back on. This guy back on. Is this an advanced heat sink? Okay. Ooh. I wish probably boot up our uh, boot up our stuff again, right? C A A That's fine. I'm okay with being a little bit slow. What if we throw this guy on again? Okay, and we'll throw this guy on again. We'll throw this guy on again. Okay, let's keep it like this. Guess we can't turn on the phase shifter anymore. Let's go ahead and like try and shred this person with everything we've got. 70%. I like that. Right, we are run, we're running a little slow, but that's okay. Uh, let's throw on this guy. And then B, C, B. Let's see, throw on this guy. That works for me. And then. Pick that guy up. We got programmers incoming. There's a sentinel and an exit. So we'll let this guy come to us. Ninety two percent. That is very 
good. And then we kill this person. Okay. And that is because I want to drop this, attach this. I still want to be on these legs, but I like treads as my like, little backup propulsion better than wheels. Wheels are kind of like a last resort type of thing. Man seat sink, micro efficient core. We need this. So let's drop this. Attach this. Go back to legs. Grab this. Sounds like I got bad guys incoming. This is an exit to the factory. Okay, where do we want? Where do we want to go? Where do we want to go? I think technically five propulsion is probably enough. I think if we need anything, we need utility. I think five weapons is probably okay too. So what if we do what if we do eight? Ooh, I don't know. Because what I want, I guess, is to run more guns. But I need to be on treads for that. Let's do let's do like a power and a utility. That sound pretty good. Because we can be slow. We can be slow on the legs. But we can attach this microfission core. And get extra energy. And then have plenty for like our utilities and our giant cannons and stuff. I think that's what we want to do. Alright, so power and utility. That is good. That is very good. All right, all right. So we made it to minus four factory. We got ourselves an extra power slot, an extra utility slot. Uh, we got some sweet cannons that were like one shot killing, which is pretty cool. I like that a lot, actually. It was fun. I don't think I've ever run like a full cannon build before. Um, but for all of that, we are a hodgepodge of stuff. We've got three legs, a tread, and a, uh, a gravity system. In our inventory, we've got two flight units. Uh, we've got an energy filter, utility shielding, a micro fission core, which we're actually going to attach now. Good deal. Uh, and then energy filter. What's an energy filter do? Reduces the energy cost of firing any weapon by 30%. So we're going to throw the energy filter on there. And now we've got spots for you know, two extra things to grab. Another like five total if we drop the, the thrusters. So I guess that's something. I don't know. We'll, uh, we'll see how it goes. This has kind of been just one of those runs where you, you pretty much die and then you just kind of come back. So uh, yeah, looking forward to seeing where we can go next. Thank you so much for watching. This was Nuzcraft, and we'll see you in the next one.